learning how to survive today in a title called How to Survive. So that's exactly what we need to do. First off, we land on this deserted island. Well, it's not quite deserted. There are infected things there. I don't want to call them zombies, even though they're totally zombies. But we learned how to survive slowly throughout the game by picking up different things. We can make different weapons for ourselves. We encounter a lot of infected zombies. We'll just call them zombies. All right. You yeah. didn't want to call them zombies. I didn't want to call them it. zombies. But just because I, I'm kind of getting sick of zombies. I'm over the whole zombie thing at this point. Even The Walking Dead, I can't really get through right now. There's just something about it that's turning me off. Yeah. And I feel like that's what this game started to do because I'm just, I don't want to deal with any more zombies. I'm over it, man. I'm over it. But this game introduces a really cool element of actually picking up survival guides. And then when the survival guide opens, we meet a dude, a really friendly dude named Kovac. Kovacs rules! Kovacs rules! And each chapter, it's done up in those uh, worst case survival handbooks that you might have seen at bookstores. They're kind of joke handbooks, but maybe might have like some information that is of some sort of use if you're ever in such a terrible situation. This is essentially a bunch of different fetch quests. So off the top, this game felt a little tedious to me. Right, well it's not grounded in reality, even though there are these survival elements that seem real, like we would have to fashion these things, like a boomerang or fashion a bow and arrow to survive. Yeah. So I love that part of it. But I, I kind of dug the fact that the game didn't feel real, like it had these really campy elements to them, just because I was never scared. Yeah, This true. game never scared me, and normally zombie games always do. So there are some really neat survival elements implemented in this game. First of all, even though this is a zombie game, I do have to say that I love the fact that it's not a first-person shooter. Yeah. This is a three-quarter over the head view. It's almost like a dual stick shooter because you use the right analog stick to decide where you're gonna aim. It is very fun to go through the islands and explore and build new weapons. Building the bow felt great. Then when you augment the arrows with feathers from birds that you've killed, they go farther, they do more damage, and that feels great. I love how this game has an awesome mapping upgrade system. So when you collect experience points, you then apply those to your map. So if you want to light a fire, that's the first thing you need to do is add that to your map, then you know how to light a fire with the flint that you found. So everything that you find here, you need to use. It's important to always collect and to search. And I love that. I love that the game kept pulling me in for that reason alone. The game does get really difficult. It's, it's really tough to fend off all these zombies, especially at night. There's a lot of depth in this downloadable game, which I didn't really think was going to be in there right. off the top. And the fact that you've got this limited inventory as well just factors into the whole survival experience. I wouldn't call it survival horror. It's no, more of a survival beat em up in a way because you're having a lot of fun killing these zombies. I would almost call it a Sims game that's now been taken out of Sim City and moved into this survival world. Well done. Marissa, what are you going to give How to Survive? It gets a 7.5. I agree, 7.5.